Lifestyle Coordinator for Overture Greenville. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a tassel necklace. Okay, so to start with a tassel necklace, you're gonna need Sari Silk. And this is Sari Silk, it comes in an array of colors. You can get it on Amazon, you can also get it on Etsy. And if you can find it in a craft store, that's even better. Um, so to start, Sari Silk ribbon normally comes in a ribbon. <laughs> I like to cut about 12, like 12 inch strips, about 10 of them. So we'll go ahead and I just kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be exactly 12 inches. So we'll go ahead and just just cut it. And I also like to use my alligator scissors. They have zigzag teeth and that also keeps the fabric from fraying. But luckily, Sorry Silk does not fray. Also, if you can't find Sari Silk, um, Jersey fabric, like the fabric made out of t-shirts, um, Jersey's also a really good fabric to use for tassel necklaces. So I like to use, I think I got five here, and I think five is good because this is really wide. So yeah. You just kind of eyeball it to see, you know, if you want it shorter, you can cut them shorter. I like my tassels to be a little bit longer. That's actually pretty long, but we'll just, we'll stick with this. Okay, so next, you're gonna get your bead stringing wire. I like to use the Beadalon brand, and there's nobody back there, okay. I like to use the Beadalon brand, um, the 9.2 millimeter is what I prefer. So what we're gonna do, is you're gonna measure out. So I'll just kind of like hold it behind and just see how long I want it to be. Yeah. And I always cut it a little bit more just in case, just to, just to be safe. So this is probably gonna be the hardest part of doing the whole necklace is, so you're gonna take it like a little loop. You're gonna take your fabric. You're gonna put it through here. Normally I do this a little bit better, but I'm on video. Okay, so, so you gotta like that. You see, I looped it through, it's looped. You're gonna take these little crimpers and it's just like a little container and they're just little metal tubes. And after that, it's like smooth sailing. This is just what I consider the hardest part. You're gonna put both ends of the wire and you're gonna go all the way down. And so, so I have these little pliers. They're crimping pliers. They have a little circle right in there and it helps to crimp this little piece of metal. So what I do is I, I pull it as tight as I can and then I crimp it. So it's on there really good. It's on there really tight. After that, you can bead. So you don't have to do this part, but I like to do it. I like to take a large bead. It can be any color. Um, today, I'm just gonna use like a little crystal looking bead. And I just like to start it with the large bead. And so, put it on there. And then, you know, I have beads. Now, you can use plastic beads. I prefer glass beads just because they're heavier. And so, I think the extra weight makes the necklace fall better but you just keep kind of stringing until you get it completely full. And once you get it full, you'll end up having your fully done necklace like this. And so what I do is when I get kind of towards the end of it, I'll keep like trying it on to make sure it's falling to where I want it to fall. And we just have to finish it. So I haven't finished the ends of this and we'll go ahead and finish it right now. You'll need these toggle clasps. You can use other clasps, but I just prefer the toggle ones because they're just easy to put on. So let's go ahead and put that on and then we'll be finished. So you take one side of the clasp and then you just loop the beading wire in it. And what I do is I just loop it through the first bead And actually, I forgot a whole step. Okay, so. I was just so excited to finish this necklace for you guys, so I'm just forgetting steps. So before you put that um, toggle clasp on, you're gonna put one of your little tubes on. 
So you got one of your little metal crimping tool tubes. Okay, so then you have it. Maybe if we can, there we go. So I've got it all in here ready to go. It's just the, I've got the wire in the tube. I like to pull the wire really tight first before crimping the little metal tool tube. And so once I crimp it, I'm gonna crimp it like that. I take my scissors and I just cut off the excess. And then we just do the other side. So take your metal crimper, put that on first, like you did with the other side. And then put your toggle clasps. And you kind of like loop over the clasp and then go inside of the, the metal tube. And so you just do the same thing. I like to take my little pliers, pull it tight, and then I crimp it. Cut off the excess. And then you've got a beautiful necklace. Put it on, see how it looks. Maybe put it on <laughs> and see how it looks. And there we go. I think that's a I think that's really great, really stylish. So thank you so much for joining in and I hope you make a necklace.